This episode of Never Too Small is brought to you by our book, Reimagining Small Space Living, our love letter to the visionaries and artists of small footprint design. Get yours today at nevertoosmall.com slash store. The apartment is located in the center of Athens in Plaka. The building was actually built in the late 60s and the apartment is 50 square meters. The personality and appearance of the client were a great source of inspiration for us. She loves colors, textures, materials, fabrics. So we tried to integrate all that into our design. Plaka is the most famous neighborhood in the center of Athens. It's also very lively and there's many wonderful cafes and restaurants, as well as Greek design shops and fashion stores. The apartment is actually a very typical one-bedroom Athenian apartment. When we first came in, it was empty and in a pretty bad state. The previous owner had torn down half of it, so there was no kitchen or bathroom to be seen. Only the bedroom and the living area were pretty much in the same state as they are now. We completely changed the dilapidated part of the apartment. We planned a new entrance, a kitchen, a dining area, a bathroom, and a new small bedroom at the end. Upon entering the apartment, we are immediately greeted with the kitchen to the right and the dining space opposite it. The living room is bright and sunny and can be closed off using the existing sliding doors which separate it from the entrance and the main bedroom. We whitewashed the space as well as the sliding doors to enhance its bright quality and we chose to paint the door frames a yolk yellow so they stand out. We scrubbed and polished the original wooden oak floors and restored the balcony and sliding doors so that they look like new. There is also a cute narrow balcony that runs along the front of the apartment. The main bedroom is a large sunny room which was whitewashed to enhance its brightness. We restored and whitewashed the existing built-in wardrobes and introduced playful pink sphere-like handles. The interior of the wardrobes was painted pink. We designed the bed as a simple white volume with the possibility of storage inside. The headboard and wall behind it was painted burgundy and on the headboard we placed Rizzona marble to add a touch of luxury here as well. We also created a small bookcase in an existing niche to the side of the bed. The existing wooden floors in the living room and main bedroom were in a decent state, so we decided to simply restore them. The smaller bedroom is reached through a sliding, semi-transparent panel. It comprises of a bed on a raised platform, which in a playful way takes almost the whole space, leaving just a small stepping spot at the foot of the bed in order to access a small back balcony. Instead of side tables, we designed a sideboard with a top made of Rizzona marble. The kitchen is placed immediately to the right as one comes into the apartment. It's designed as a compact volume that goes from floor to ceiling, where all the necessary appliances, such as fridge and laundry, are hidden behind cupboards. 
The lower cupboard's top beam and entrance walls were painted burgundy, a color chosen to match the existing burgundy terrazzo floor. The upper cupboards and backsplash are painted a bright pink to complement it. The kitchen counter is made of dark pink marble with white veins, which is called Rizzona marble and comes from one of the oldest quarries in Greece. The dining area is directly opposite the kitchen. A small simple space with a built-in bench and mobile table that doubles up as a desk. The walls and furniture here are all white because we didn't want it to antagonize the kitchen. The bathroom starts from the corridor with a boudoir-like niche which includes the sink, mirror, building lighting and side storage shelves as well as a small storage cupboard below the sink. The niche and countertop are dressed in Rizzona marble, same as in the kitchen. The bathroom ceiling is lower and there is a storage space above, accessible from a hidden door located above the niche. The interior of the bathroom includes a toilet and a built-in shower. We used simple white tiles on the floor and walls with a burgundy color grout in order to create a graphic grid pattern. We think that giving a second life to abandoned or unused small spaces sends a clear message about a more sustainable way of living in cities. Through careful, custom design, these spaces can attain their full potential and can teach us to use our existing resources in the best possible way. We don't need that much space in order to live well. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.